when we look back and when we see how fascism ended in india this moment will be one of those moments that mark the death of fascism in india the new students have been protesting for the last 22 days against fi hik and till date there has been no response either from the ministry of human resource development or the jnu administration to negotiate or start a dialogue with the jnu students union or any of the hostel presidents but contrary to it we are seeing that continuously messages and circulars been sent to the jnu students community by telling that you should be going back to your academic activities going back to your classes we just request to the administration that there will be thousands of students who won't even cease to remain students in this university and today the fight is about them who won't remain in the university anymore and won't be able to register in the university as students today it's a fight to save public education very obvious that this is a historical moment at which the indian government is determined to destroy all public funding for everything so they're dismantling the public sector they're dismantling they want to dismantle banks it's all part of a larger uh, sale of india to their crony capitalists a solidarity note from Shaira Kala who has been one of the leading activists student activists of the student led protest which started in South Africa uh, with the hashtag fees must fall and it was a successful student led movement where the demand was to stop fee hike and to increase uh, government funding in public education so JNU today what has started is also about that that pay, to save public funded education systems and today from JNU students union on uh, the being the president i am sending solidarity all over the world to all over the places where there is a fight today led by students or by any other organizations to save public education at this moment today there is a larger need and larger need of solidarity across the world to save this concept of saving public education making education not and not selling education as a commodity but making education a right for each and every citizens of their countries Yeah, I'm done.